She is known for being a cynic philosopher and the wife of Crates of Thebes. She is recognized for choosing a life of cynic poverty on the streets of Athens with her husband. Her name is Hipparchia of Marinia. In the ancient city of Athens, a young woman named Hipparchia of Marinia found herself captivated by the teachings of the renowned philosopher, Crates of Thebes. Born into a respectable family, Hipparchia's parents had envisioned a different future for their daughter. But her heart was drawn to the unconventional path of philosophy, and she could not resist the allure of the cynic way of life. Despite the disapproval of her parents, Hipparchia made a daring choice. She defied societal expectations and married Crates, embarking on a life of cynic poverty on the streets of Athens. Her decision was a radical departure from the norms of respectable women of her time, who were expected to remain confined to their domestic roles. Hipparchia's boldness and determination to live according to her own convictions became an inspiration to many. Although little is known about her own philosophical views, her influence lies in the example she set through her courageous life choices. Her story of love and rejection of societal norms resonated with later generations, becoming a popular theme for writers who sought to celebrate her defiance and the power of individual freedom. Hipparchia of Marinia, a philosopher known for her bold and unconventional ideas, was a woman ahead of her time. She defied societal norms and embraced a philosophy that challenged traditional gender roles and expectations. While many women of her era were occupied with domestic tasks, Hipparchia sought knowledge and intellectual stimulation. One of the most famous encounters in Hipparchia's life was with Theodorus the Atheist. Theodorus, known for his skeptical views on religion, questioned Hipparchia's decision to stray from societal expectations. He rhetorically asked, who is the woman who has left behind the shuttles of the loom, expecting her to be ashamed or offended? However, Hipparchia, undeterred by societal judgment, responded confidently. Hipparchia's response to Theodorus's query demonstrated her unwavering commitment to her philosophical pursuits. She refused to be confined to traditional gender roles and embraced her intellectual curiosity. Her courage to challenge societal norms and pursue her passion serves as an inspiration for all of us. While many details of Hipparchia's life and philosophy have been lost to history, it is believed that her relationship with the philosopher Crates had a profound impact on the development of Stoicism. Crates, who taught Zeno of Sidium, may have been influenced by Hipparchia's radical views on love and sex. Her willingness to challenge societal conventions likely played a role in shaping Zeno's own philosophical ideas. Even though Hipparchia's philosophical treatises and letters have not survived, her legacy lives on as a symbol of courage, intellectual curiosity, and defiance against societal expectations. Her story reminds us that we have the power to transcend societal constraints and pursue our passions, no matter our gender or societal roles. Hipparchia, a young woman born in Marinia, Thrace, found herself captivated by the teachings of the cynic philosopher Crates of Thebes. Her admiration for him grew into a deep love, a love so intense that she made a bold declaration to her parents. She told them that if they refused to allow her to marry Crates, she would rather take her own life. Concerned for their daughter's well-being, her parents pleaded with Crates to convince her otherwise. In response to their desperate plea, Crates, known for his unconventional ways, stood before Hipparchia and made a shocking statement. He removed his clothes and boldly proclaimed, here is the bridegroom, and this is his property. To the surprise of her parents, Hipparchia embraced this unconventional proposition. She wholeheartedly accepted the cynic way of life, donning the same clothing as Crates and fearlessly accompanying him in public. Their union was referred to by Crates as, dog coupling, a term that highlighted their rejection of societal norms and expectations. They chose to live in the stoas and porticos of Athens, openly expressing their love for one another. Accounts written by both Sextus Empiricus and the Latin writer Apuleius even described their intimate moments together, performed unabashedly in broad daylight. This audacious display of affection not only challenged societal conventions but also showcased the shamelessness often associated with cynic philosophy. Hipparchia and Crates were not just partners in love but also parents, raising at least two children together. They had a daughter and a son named Pasicles. The details surrounding Hipparchia's death remain unknown, leaving her legacy shrouded in mystery. However, Antipater of Sidon composed an epigram that may have been written on her tomb, immortalizing her as a woman who dared to defy societal expectations and embrace a philosophy that advocated for authenticity and the rejection of material possessions. Hipparchia's story serves as a powerful reminder that love knows no bounds and that true happiness can be found in defying societal expectations. Her willingness to challenge the norms of her time and live on equal terms with her partner is an inspiration for us today. In our daily lives, we can draw strength from Hipparchia's courage and embrace our true selves, disregarding societal pressures and embracing genuine connections that bring us joy and fulfillment. 
Hipparchia, a woman ahead of her time, made a name for herself as a philosopher living on equal terms with her husband. In the ancient world, this was an extraordinary feat, as women were rarely given the opportunity to engage in philosophical pursuits. Despite this, Hipparchia's story captivated the minds of later writers and thinkers, earning her a place in history. Among the 82 philosophers documented in Diogenes Laertius' Lives and Opinions of Eminent Philosophers, Hipparchia stands as the only woman to have her own entry. Her unique position as a female cynic philosopher fascinated many, and her life continued to be a subject of intrigue for centuries to come. In a collection of cynic epistles believed to have been written in the first century AD, there are mentions of Hipparchia and her relationship with her husband, Crates. One letter recounts how Hipparchia sent a cloak she had made to Crates, prompting his concern that she may have done so to appear as someone who loves her husband in the eyes of society. Crates advises her to renounce such domestic tasks and fully embrace philosophy, as that was the reason she married him in the first place. Another letter reveals that Hipparchia had given birth, explaining her recent engagement in domestic duties. Crates, acknowledging the influence of her cynic training in making childbirth easier, proceeds to offer advice on how to raise their child. One of the most noteworthy letters attributed to Diogenes of Sinope, another influential philosopher, is addressed to the people of Maronea, Hipparchia's hometown. In this letter, Diogenes praises the virtues and wisdom of Hipparchia, highlighting her commitment to philosophy and her ability to inspire others. Hipparchia's philosophy and way of life continue to inspire us today. Her determination to pursue knowledge and equality serves as a reminder that societal expectations and norms should not limit our potential. Hipparchia's story teaches us the importance of staying true to ourselves and our passions, regardless of the barriers we may face. Just as she fearlessly embraced philosophy in a male-dominated world, we too can find the strength to pursue our dreams and live authentically. As Hipparchia herself once said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. Her words remind us that we have the power to shape our own destinies, regardless of the challenges we encounter. Hipparchia's influence lives on, encouraging us to embrace our true selves and navigate the complexities of life with courage and resilience. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.